MindBridge is excited to share our newest development that was released in our 4.4 launch, which impacts account grouping and account mapping. With this, users can now do more at the engagement level. Users have the ability to rename account nodes within account grouping. This means if you're using a pre-built template, it makes it easier to rename these account nodes to fit your organization or your client's language. It is important to note these label changes will only be reflected in all analysis within that engagement. It does not apply to the library or the original account mapping. So let's walk through this. Let's start at our data tab. From here, within our analysis, we have the ability to click these three little dots, which will take us to view accounts. As you can see, we have our level one, our level two, our level three, all the way down to our level four. We have the ability to edit any of these account nodes within this screen here. Let's walk through an expense. If we go into expenses, operating expenses, professional fees, let's rename accounting fees. Given our understanding of the data within accounting fees, it probably makes more sense for this to be, be called audit fees for this engagement. So let's save that. The next one let's edit is consulting fees. Our understanding of the items within consulting fees for this analysis is it's actually only M&A costs. So this would be an example of wanting to change The account. You also have the option of going back to the default at any point that you rename something and you're not happy with what you've renamed it. As you can see, if I change it to assets one, two, three, I click the default and it will bring it back to assets. The next screen you see is account mapping. Account mapping hasn't changed in this release, so you guys should be very familiar from very familiar with it from previous launches. The newest screen that we've also added here is the ability to review the account grouping and the account mapping all within one, one screen. As you can see, you've got your account description, your account ID, account type, the status, and then your four different levels, your debit, your credit, and then also the current period and the grouping code. You have the ability to filter these columns as well. So maybe you want to look for the largest or smallest amounts um, within the current data set. So for this, if we look at cash, we can now filter it and we're seeing the largest amount. You also have the ability to remap within MyBridge within this screen. The biggest impact with this new launch and account group and account mapping is really time savings due to not having to rerun analysis um, just because of a name change. As you can see, this was a very simple and easy process that can be applied to your engagements.